So much at stake, the difference between perhaps a seventh place and a sixth place or a, a third and a second means a difference in points and therefore qualification or not for those finals. First action on the track, the 400 metres hurdles for women and it's an event dominated by North American and Caribbean athletes this season. Five of the seven places for the final in Zurich have already been filled. There in lane seven, Megan Beasley on her home track, a Birchfield Harrier, fresh from winning bronze in Berlin last week. What a season she's having. Geneve Russell goes in lane six, the Commonwealth Games champion. She's been fabulously consistent this year, finished in the top two in every race this season. Georgia Moline, the American number two, who won in Rome, third in Lausanne, and always smiling. In lane four, newly crowned European champion from Switzerland, still not guaranteed a place in those finals. She was the pre-race favourite in Berlin, and she delivered. Leah Sprunger. Ailey Doyle, well, a mixed bag for her in Berlin last week, disappointing eighth in the individual events in the German capital, but more than made up for it with a storming run in the 4x4 relay to bring home the bronze medal for Great Britain. And in lane two, 30 years old now, three times African champion, but only third this year in those championships, Wendell from South Africa. We have to say we also were due to have Shamir Little from the United States, but she was uh, taken ill overnight with some uh, possible food poisoning not feeling well overnight, so Shamir Little withdrew a couple of hours ago. So the lineup again in full for this first event here in Birmingham. It's Nell, South Africa in two, Ailey Dorr, Great Britain in three, Leah Sprunger, the European champion, Switzerland in four, Malene, USA in five, Geneva Russell in six, Beasley, Great Britain in seven, Sage Watson on the outside for Canada in lane eight. The women's 400 metres hurdles. Set. Well, Janine Russell will be uh, both frustrated, I'm sure, and a little bit relieved at the withdrawal of Shamir Little. Looking forward to a really good battle. They've met four times already this season. Shamir Little was uh, winner in three of those occasions. Megan Beasley's made a really good start once again. Second right, second left of picture, but also going well is uh, Janine Russell as well. But Beasley coming around that top bend very, very nicely indeed. Also going well on the inside, uh, Ailey Doyle with those mixed emotions from uh, Berlin. Leah Sprunger coming to the fore now as well with that brilliant victory in Berlin in her legs. But it's uh, Leah Sprunger coming off the bend here, the tall figure from Switzerland coming off the bend. She's done very well in transition, being chased down by Geneve Russell, that brilliant consistency. It's going to be a race for the line between these two. Who's got the legs? It's Leah Sprunger. The European champion who gets it on the line from the fast finishing Geneve Russell. She maintains her wonderful consistency, but uh, Leah Springer once again, no hangover from those championships in Berlin last week. European champion last week in Germany and converting that team here to victory here in Birmingham. 54 86, the winning time. Yes, you make a good point there, Chris. Many athletes will be jaded after the exploits of uh, Berlin last week. Emotionally, as much as physically, they will be drained. And yet, a Sprunger there comes up trumps. A very, very strong, strong run from lane three. She was able to keep the others in her sights. So they'll, they'll have been in her field of vision there in lane four. Very aggressive start, as ever, for Megan Beasley, who came home eventually for a useful third place. But uh, Sprunger here just skipping over those barriers. She's so tall, so powerful. Really strong challenge from Geneve Russell, who just ran out of track. She's battling away to get here. To, but look at the way that um, Sprunger is punching the air there over the last 20 metres or so. Really battles for that win. Third place, there's the, uh, the photo finish. Not really a photograph required. Sprunger clearly taking that on the dip, but uh, a word again about Megan Beasley coming through in third place, again backing up that bronze medal performance in Berlin last week and really enjoying herself here on her home track. She's based here in Birmingham as a Birchfield Harrier and again finishing quite considerably ahead of Ailey Doyle. Well, here is uh, Sprunger driving towards the line. She was well aware of the challenge from Geneve Russell over on the far side and just dipped sensibly 54 86 to 54 91 not a lot in it 
There, the result then sprung up from Russell, from Beasley, from Ailey Doyle down in fourth place. And there, confirmation of the qualifiers for the final in Zurich. Russell Mohammed, who's not here, safely through.